Welcome to Engineering Concepts. Introduction to Pneumatic Systems The technology of pneumatics gained tremendous importance in the field of workplace rationalization and automation from old-fashioned timber works and coal mines to modern machine shops and space robots. I will try to simplify this a little. For better understanding, let's take a balloon and blow some air in it. The balloon expands due to the presence of air in it. Tie the balloon so that the air can only escape from bottom of the compact disc as shown. This balloon is kind of similar to the air storage tank. Rubber around the balloon is similar to the walls of storage tank, except more soft and spongy. We can direct the pressure inside the balloon to gain some momentum. Pneumatic and hydraulic systems works in the same way. Pneumatics is a study of behavior and applications of the compressed air. Though the science was known to man for centuries, it's not much use in industries before the beginning of the World War II. During the war many industries, all over Western countries started switching over to more and more automatic equipment. Many of these were operated and retrofitted with pneumatically operated gadgets and accessories for the purpose of manufacturing and other activities to meet the sudden need of enhanced production of more commodities under the tremendous shortage of skilled technical manpower. There are a wide range of applications of pneumatic systems. Some of them are, in the timber works to break the timber into pieces of required lengths. In the automobile industries pneumatics is used for the dismantling of the vehicle tires, filling the compressed air in the tires, spray painting on the car bodies, or opening and closing of doors. In heavy vehicles such as trucks and buses air brakes are used. Pneumatics is used for the purpose of material handling to lift the loads and transport it from one shelf to the other. Pneumatic sawing of wood is of course not unheard of. Dentists often use pneumatic drill which is more safer than the hydraulic one, because pneumatic uses air instead of hydraulic oil or electrical current. Packing of goods in the industries can be done pneumatically, shifting of material. Nowadays compressed air is used everywhere in industries. We need to ask ourselves why? The answer lies in some of the features of the pneumatic systems which make it exceptionally suitable. There are many features of pneumatics, I will point out few important features. Air is abundantly available in the atmosphere. Earth atmosphere contains about 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% carbon dioxide and other gases such as helium, argon, some amount of water vapor, etc. Compressed air is a mixture of all gases contained in the atmosphere. The unlimited supply of air and the ease of compression make compressed air most widely used fluid for pneumatic systems. Although moisture and sun particles must be removed from the air, it does not require the extensive distillation process of gas. Properly prepared compressed air is clean, which is why it is used extensively in the textile and food industries, where there can be absolutely no contamination of products during processing and also the clean compressed air can be bent directly back into the atmosphere, it doesn't have to be recirculated. Compressed air is easy to transport through large tanks and long pipelines. Fireproof characteristic of the medium is one of the main advantage of pneumatic system. It is easy to control pressure, speed, and force. Reliable remote controlling. For the same reasons pneumatic equipments are also used in clean rooms. Compressed air can be stored this has the advantage it can be kept on supply and compressed air receiver. Compressed air is unaffected by fluctuations and temperatures which is one reason why pneumatic equipment operates very reliably. And finally, the individual components of the pneumatic system are inexpensive, since pressure seals are for the most part, problem free and the forces being transmitted remain within certain limits. 
manufacturing industries, pneumatic systems are a common sight and are most popular. Thus, therefore it is important that technicians and engineers should have a good working knowledge of pneumatic system, air-operated tools and other accessories, including a clear concept of the physical principles that govern the behavior of compressed air. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share.